In this video, we're going to look at proportional division, which is where some total amount of something is being split into separate parts in a certain ratio. For example, in this question here, we're told that Jack and Jill share 280 pounds in the ratio 3 to 4, and it asks us how much will each of them get. Now, there's a couple of different ways that you could do a question like this. But in my opinion, the easiest way to do it is to imagine the 280 pounds being split into a number of different parts, with Jack getting three of those parts, and Jill getting the other four parts. This means that there's a total of seven parts, and so to work out what each part is worth, we need to take the total amount of money, the 280 pounds, and divide it by the total number of parts, the seven which will give us 40 pounds, meaning that each part has a value of 40 pounds. And then because we said earlier that Jack has three parts, and we know that each part is worth 40 pounds, we know that he'll have three times 40, which is 120 pounds. Whereas if we do the same thing for Jill, because she has four parts, we multiply the 40 pounds by four, showing that she gets 160 pounds. Let's have a go at a slightly harder question this time. Three friendly cats, Fluffy, Fuzzy, and Felix, are sharing 72 cat treats in a ratio of 3 to 4 to 5. How many more treats will Felix get than Fluffy? So for this one, the first thing we need to do is find out how many parts 72 is being divided into. So we do 3 plus 4 plus 5 to get a total of 12 parts. Next, we need to divide the total number of treats by the total number of parts to find out how much each part represents. So we take the 72 treats and divide it by 12, showing that each part is worth 6 treats. Then we can multiply each cat's number of parts by the amount that each part represents, because this tells us how many treats each cat will get. So Fluffy will get 3 times 6, or 18 treats. Fuzzy will get 4 times 6, so 24 treats. And Felix will get 5 times 6, so 30 treats. Then to actually answer the question, we just need to work out the difference between how many treats Fluffy and Felix get. So we do Felix's 30 treats minus Fluffy's 18, showing us that Felix gets 12 more treats than Fluffy. Anyways, that's everything for this video, so if you enjoyed it, then please do tell your friends about us, and thanks for watching.